welcome back thank you so much for being here so in today's video i'm going to be talking all about newest hourglass palette this is their amian lighting too so i am going to be doing some swatches comparing this palette to previous ones um little demo and of course i have to talk about the marketing strategy that they use for this palette and my thoughts on these and the brand in general so if that sounds fun and this is first time here i'm Gigi. thank you so much for clicking into my video i do hope you stay and subscribe for more by clicking that red button that says subscribe and also come over to my instagram because over there we do keep it really fun chilled simple i keep you posted on makeup sales makeup releases so let's just go ahead and get started all right friends, so let's begin. But before we do, I am going to leave uh, timestamps in my description box in case you wanna jump ahead to swatches or demo or whatever it is. I do wanna talk about um, Hourglass. I do wanna talk about what is happening. If you're here, I'm pretty sure you know about Hourglass and that they're really, um, you know, limiting when it comes to their shades. They're not really inclusive and a lot of content creators have had, you know, contacted them and try to reach out to see if they're going to be more inclusive and it just never happens. Every time they come out with one of their holiday palettes, they're always a one palette kind of thing. Well, one isn't inclusive enough one isn't gonna cut it for all of us but they just i guess they don't listen and they don't care to listen and they just keep doing the same thing over and over again last palette that i reviewed from them was a re-release which is this one right here it is an all cream palette i loved the palette but i am a birdie a medium medium to tan complexion person and that just you know, I, I made it work. Uh, for someone that is deeper than me, it isn't going to show up at all. So again, this is a palette that was waited for years to be re-released because it was loved by so, so much people. But they just, they re-released it the same, no changing the colors, just one palette. There you go, off you go. So there is a problem here because we keep saying, you know, our glass, please um, include all of us because there is a rainbow with many many colors and we all want your products but yeah they don't listen so i wanted to make this video pretty much to not only show you the swatches the demo you know all those things but also to bring attention again just bring attention to inclusivity um even though i don't have a huge platform i feel like it doesn't matter my voice can be raised i have to speak up my mind just like charlotte she did an amazing job i'm gonna you know just leave a picture of charlotte right there she did a great video speaking you know her whole thing about our glass and what she thinks what she stands for i'm gonna leave her video in my description box i was just extremely pleased and excited excited you know um that someone will just really speak their minds and you know just don't hide uh, there are other creators that just don't want to talk about it they just don't want to bring more light and attention to our guests which i understand and i respect but at this point i did want it to use my platform to again just bring more awareness and just continue to um you know tell brands that we do want more shades we do want luxury beauty uh now the bigger issue i mean lighting palette too so when i saw the marketing strategy i saw this beautiful model here that they had as soon as i saw that picture what tells you you see the palette you guys you see that that palette is deep you can see it is beautiful she's really contoured her like her skin is so rich and beautiful I was so excited. I was ready. And I even messaged my girlfriend and I'm like, yes, I need this palette because she, the model, is rocking that palette. That, that means that it's going to be for me, for my complexion. I cannot wait. Of course, being me, so excited. I didn't check the shades properly. I, I didn't realize that they were all existing shades. When I did realize that, I went ahead on Instagram. I show you the shades because I already have them in two of the palettes. I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. So the shades are in these two palettes. Um, so I show you that and the bronzer is really light, you guys. So it looks nothing like that picture. This palette looks nothing like the one she's holding. It is too photoshopped, that one looks really deep 
and there is no way that that model is using this powder to be contoured. On our glasses description, it says that this is highlighting, contouring, and you know, that kind of product. Um, if you're marketing this as um, just a finishing powder, as a buffing powder for someone with medium to tan to deep complexion, I think you can mix them all and then get that warmth, I would think. But bottom line is, Marketing was deceiving. The palette is a new. All the shades here are existent. At the time that I called them to cancel, they say no, they ship too fast. Good luck. I have to send it back. I um I already swatched this palette, you guys, and I'm not sure. I'm feeling a little bit confused. I'm not gonna lie. When I swatch this shade in the middle, which is called um, which is called Radiant Light. This shade looks deeper than the Radiant Light that we have in this palette. Uh, you're gonna see these swatches in a minute. And the bronzer looks, this bronzer looks more neutral in tone um, than the one, again, in this palette, which are called the same. The bronzer is called Golden Bronze Light. And this one here is just, a tiny bit more neutral and less golden than the one on this palette. Um, and you're gonna see, as I said, the swatches in a bed and you're gonna be the judge to that. But that doesn't mean, even though they, they don't look the same, they look like different shades of bronzers, that doesn't mean that it, um, it is going to work for a deeper person, not at all. I made it work because I am not that tan. I'm only a medium tan. So, um, you know, someone with tan complexion, this isn't gonna work for you. So bottom line is the campaign was super deceiving. It is really disappointing. I am no longer going to purchase products from Hourglass. I am going to continue to use the products that I have in my collection because I'm not going to waste them. I feel like everyone needs the beautiful, you know, experience of the ambient lighting powders. These powders are beautiful. They just really do blur and, you know, they, they do a beautiful job of, um, just melting all your makeup together and make beautiful canvas and truly bring in beautiful lights to your face. Why not make it for everyone the same? So I do wanna hold the two palettes side by side. I do feel like it is an improvement. It is something that, um, you know, someone that wasn't able to use this palette is going to be able to use this one if you get to mix them all. This palette is number one. I was never able to use it like each shade, I had to mix them all. And then I used that as a finishing powder. That's the way I use this powder. I cannot use like one individual because it would look too ashy. With something like this, I have to say that I'll be able to use, as I, I'm i going to demo it in a minute, I am able to use this palette as a um, contour bronzer, as a highlighting and as a setting. So this is good for medium complexion. This is good for fair to light. Where is the tan? Where is the deep? Where is the dark? Where is these people? They won't fit in here. They did make an improvement when it comes to, you know, the palette, but it would have been perfect if they released an ambient lighting three and then being really rich, you know, and deep for a deeper complexion. So now I am going to show you the demo of me applying these shades. As I mentioned, I was able to make them all work. First off, I went ahead and used the bronzer. You can see that it it is just hourglass. It just blends, it builds up beautifully, no complaints. And I went ahead and I used the middle shade to sort of like set my face pretty much. So I went ahead on my forehead, T-zone, chin area and all that. And then I used the lighter shade and I only concentrated this under my eyes and that really brings, you know, it brings light because it's really light uh, for my complexion. Now 
I'm going to show you um, the swatches um, of the palettes and the comparisons. If you already have the ambient lighting one, then that means that you already have radiant light, which is this shade right here. So let's swatch radiant light beside the new palette radiant light. So that's radiant light. This is Radiant Light from the palette in one, and this is from the palette in two. I don't know, friends, they really don't look the same. Um, this one looks, it looks deeper. Next up, let's do Soft Light in here, which is the first shade. And Soft Light, this is what that one looks like. Let's do a heavy swatch because of course these powders are really hard to, um, you know, to swatch. And then if you have the um, Unlocked palette, I have it in this packaging because this was a re-release, but the original package should look like this color. And it was 2019's palette, the holiday palette. I have it in here because again, it re-released. So in here, Soft Light is the first shade here. So let's swatch soft light. And that one looks almost exactly the same. I think it looks the same. I did I, I did do a heavy swatch. Then let's do the bronzer in this one, which is where I'm not sure. I'm gonna show you. So this is the new bronzer shade. And again, let's do a heavy swatch. So I'm gonna swatch one more time like that. And then this is the same bronze light, golden bronze light. And here is called golden bronze light, right? It should be the same. So I am going over like this. So this is the shade. Okay, these are them. I don't know if it's just me, if my palette is old, I don't know you guys, but I think this is deeper. So the newest palette is this one, and then this is the older one. I do feel like this is deeper. What do you think? What do you think about this? This is the new palette, this is the older palette. So I did wanted to make sure that I made this video not only, um, you know, just to show you the palette, uh, you know, to tell you that I'm not going to continue to support the brand, but also to just bring attention. Like we keep talking about this, you know, it started with Fenty G bringing out so, so many shades and now, you know, the brands are following and that's what we need. That's what we want. You know, we love makeup. Uh, we all have the same rights, you know, it does doesn't matter the color or your skin it, it just doesn't matter uh, please just uh, you know be inclusive just keep producing good makeup for everyone because it's just the right way to do it conclusion friends a bottom line um, as I mentioned I am not going to purchase any more products from Hourglass unless they do decide to give a statement unless they do decide to speak about the issue uh, we need answers. We need to know what the matter is. We need to know why they aren't, um, you know, hearing people. We just need answers. Anyways, friends, this was a little bit of a weird video. I know. Um, I mean, I, as I mentioned, I decided to still make the video just uh, to put it all out there, to give you the information, to show you swatches, show you the demo, and then you do go ahead and decide. When it comes to me and my channel, I don't think you're going to be seeing any hourglass from now on and that's just it thank you so much you guys for your love and support let me know what do you think let me know what do you think of the swatches am i crazy do you think i'm right what do you think i don't know i'm just a little bit confused at this point um, do give me a thumbs up if you enjoy my content do not forget to subscribe of course for more and i'll catch you my next one bye guys